In fluid dynamics, Stokes problem also known as Stokes second problem or sometimes referred to as Stokes boundary layer or oscillating boundary layer is a problem of determining the flow created by an oscillating solid surface, named after Sir George Stokes. This is considered as one of the simplest unsteady problem that have exact solution for the Navier-Stokes equations. In turbulent flow, this is still named a Stokes boundary layer, but now one has to rely on experiments, numerical simulations or approximate methods in order to obtain useful information on the flow. Topic. Flow description Consider an infinitely long plate which is oscillating with a velocity u cos omega t display style u cos omega t in the x display style x direction which is located at y equals 0 display style y equals 0 in an infinite domain of fluid where omega display style omega is the frequency of the oscillations the incompressible navier stokes equations reduce to u T equals nu two u y two display style frac partial u partial t equals nu frac partial caret two u partial y caret two, where nu display style nu is the kinematic viscosity. The pressure gradient does not enter into the problem. The initial no slip condition on the wall is u. 0 t equals u cos omega t u infinity t equals 0 display style u 0 t equals u cos omega t quad u inf t t equals 0 and the second boundary condition is due to the fact that the motion at y equals Zero. Display style y equals zero is not felt at infinity. The flow is only due to the motion of the plate. There is no imposed pressure gradient. Topic solution. The initial condition is not required because of periodicity. Since both the equation and the boundary conditions are linear, the velocity can be written as the real part of some complex function. U equals U E I Omega T F Y Display style U equals U re left E carrot I Omega T F Y right because cos Omega T equals E I Omega T Display style cos omega t equals re e caret i omega t. Substituting this into the partial differential equation reduces it to ordinary differential equation. F minus i omega nu f equals zero. Display style f frac i omega nu f equals zero. With boundary conditions f. Zero equals one F infinity equals zero. Display style F zero equals one quad F inf t equals zero. The solution to the above problem is F Y equals EXP minus one plus I two Omega nu y display style f y equals exp left frac one plus i sqrt two sqrt frac omega nu y right u y t equals u e minus omega two nu y cos Omega T minus Omega two new Y 
display style u y t equals u caret sqrt frac omega two new y cos left omega t sqrt frac omega two new y right. The disturbance created by the oscillating plate travels as the transverse wave through the fluid, but it is highly damped by the exponential factor. The depth of penetration delta equals two new omega display style delta equals sqrt two new omega of this wave decreases with the frequency of the oscillation, but increases with the kinematic viscosity of the fluid. The force per unit area exerted on the plate by the fluid is F equals mu U Y Y equals zero equals rho omega mu U cos omega T minus pi four Display style f equals mu left frac partial u partial y right underscore y equals zero equals sqrt rho omega mu u cos left omega t frac pi four right. There is a phase shift between the oscillation of the plate and the force created. Topic: Vorticity oscillations near the boundary. An important observation from Stokes solution for the oscillating Stokes flow is that vorticity oscillations are confined to a thin boundary layer and damp exponentially when moving away from the wall. This observation is also valid for the case of a turbulent boundary layer. Outside the Stokes boundary layer, which is often the bulk of the fluid volume, the vorticity oscillations may be neglected. To good approximation, the flow velocity oscillations are irrotational outside the boundary layer, and potential flow theory can be applied to the oscillatory part of the motion. This significantly simplifies the solution of these flow problems, and is often applied in the irrotational flow regions of sound waves and water waves. <laughs> Fluid bounded by an upper wall If the fluid domain is bounded by an upper, stationary wall, located at a height y equals h the flow velocity is given by u y t equals u 2 cosh 2 lambda h minus cos 2 lambda h e minus lambda y minus Two H cos Omega T minus Lambda Y plus E Lambda Y minus two H cos Omega T plus Lambda Y minus E minus Lambda Y cos Omega T minus Lambda Y plus two Lambda H minus E Lambda Y cos Omega T plus Lambda Y minus two Lambda H Display style U Y T equals frac U two cosh two Lambda H cos two Lambda H E carrot Lambda Y two H cos Omega T Lambda Y plus E carrot Lambda Y two H cos Omega T plus Lambda Y E carrot Lambda Y cos Omega T Lambda Y plus two Lambda H E carrot Lambda Y cos Omega T plus Lambda Y two Lambda H where lambda equals omega two new display style lambda equals sqrt omega two new topic flow due to an oscillating pressure gradient near a plane rigid plate. 
The case for an oscillating far field flow, with the plate held at rest, can easily be constructed from the previous solution for an oscillating plate by using linear superposition of solutions. Consider a uniform velocity oscillation u infinity t equals u infinity cos omega t display style u inf t t equals u underscore inf t cos omega t far away from the plate and a vanishing velocity at the plate u zero t equals zero display style u zero t equals zero Unlike the stationary fluid in the original problem, the pressure gradient here at infinity must be a harmonic function of time. The solution is then given by u y t equals u infinity cos omega t minus e minus omega two nu y cos omega t minus omega 2 nu y display style u y t equals u underscore inf t left cos omega t text e caret sqrt frac omega 2 nu y cos left omega t sqrt frac omega 2 nu y right right which is zero at the wall z equals zero, corresponding with the no-slip condition for a wall at rest. This situation is often encountered in sound waves near a solid wall, or for the fluid motion near the seabed in water waves. The vorticity, for the oscillating flow near a wall at rest, is equal to the vorticity in case of an oscillating plate but of opposite sign. Equals Topic. Stokes problem in cylindrical geometry equals topic torsional oscillation consider an infinitely long cylinder of radius a display style a exhibiting torsional oscillation with angular velocity omega cos omega t display style omega cos omega t where omega Display style omega is the frequency. Then the velocity for the steady state, i.e. neglecting the transient time, is given by v theta equals a omega k one r i omega nu k one a i omega New E I Omega T Display style V underscore theta equals a Omega re left frac K underscore one R SQRT I Omega new K underscore one a SQRT I Omega new E carrot I Omega T right where K one Display style K underscore one is the modified Bessel function of the second kind. This solution can be expressed with real argument as v theta r t equals psi k e i one r omega k e i one r omega r plus ker one r Omega Ker one R Omega R cos T plus KEI one R Omega Ker one R Omega R minus Ker one R Omega K E I one R Omega 
R sin T display style begin aligned V underscore theta left R T right and equals psi left L brace left textrum KEI underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega right textrum KEI underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega R right plus textrum Kerr underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega right textrum Kerr underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega R right right cos left T right right and plus left Left textrum KEI underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega right textrum Kerr underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega R right textrum Kerr underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega right textrum KEI underscore one left SQRT R underscore Omega R right right sin left T right right R brace end aligned where psi equals KEI one Two R Omega plus Kerr one two R Omega minus one Display style psi equals left textrum KEI underscore one carrot two left SQRT R underscore Omega right plus textrum Kerr underscore one carrot two left SQRT R underscore Omega right right carrot minus one R Omega Display style R underscore Omega is to the dimensionless oscillatory Reynolds number defined as R Omega equals Omega a two new Display style R underscore Omega equals Omega a carrot two new being new Display style new the kinematic viscosity. Topic: Axial oscillation. If the cylinder oscillates in the axial direction with velocity u cos omega t, display style u cos omega t, then the velocity field is u equals u. K zero R I Omega New K zero A I Omega New E I Omega T Display style U equals U re left frac K underscore zero R SQRT I Omega new K underscore zero a SQRT I Omega new E carrot I Omega T right where K zero Display style K underscore zero is the modified Bessel function of the second kind. Topic Stokes Kuet flow In the Kuet flow, instead of the translational motion of one of the plate, an oscillation of one plane will be executed. If we have a bottom wall at rest at y equals zero, display style y equals zero, and the upper wall at y equals h, display style y equals h, is executing an oscillatory motion with velocity u cos Omega t display style u cos omega t. Then the velocity field is given by u equals u sin k y sin k h, where k equals one plus i two. Omega new display style u equals u re left frac sin k y sin k h right quad text where quad k equals frac one plus i sqrt two sqrt frac omega new. The frictional force per unit area on the moving plane is minus mu u k cot k h. Display style mu u re k cot k h, and on the fixed plane is mu u 
K C S C K H Display style mu u re k c s c k h. Topic. See also. Rayleigh problem. <laughs>